All right, we'll do the pop century. Just a couple of things quickly before we fire it. Obviously, they have something they, you know, could be duels. <laughs> so we roll the dice for that. The ticket stubs. 95% of the ticket stubs were standalone. There was a few. Elvis, Katy Perry, John Bon Jovi. They're not listed in the ticket stub spots because they also had wardrobe cards or cut autos. <coughs> they had their own spot. So if you get a an Elvis Presley ticket stub comes out, that goes to the spot that was Elvis Presley because he also has a wardrobe card. <coughs> it was clearly it was clearly stated, well, that wasn't stated, but like Elvis was not in any of the ticket stub categories. So you know, well, where's Elvis? Well, Elvis has his own spot. So that's the only thing I can think of. Um, now I got another case to do next week. It'll be the same thing. Because I didn't want to have a ticket stub come out and have a spot for the wardrobe and then have two people going, well, who gets, you know what I mean? Who gets good? So I think it was Elvis, John Bon Jovi, Katy Perry. There might have been one more. I don't, I don't remember. But um, <clears throat> Bing Crosby, if he's in the ticket stubs, which I don't think he would be, but he's got a wardrobe card, so he would go to the Bing Crosby spot. Alrighty, alrighty. So I got the regular tomorrow. Is a red, white, and blue case. There are no, there are no uh, wardrobe cards. There are no cuts. There are no tickets, dubs. Just four autos per box, 10 box case. All right, so every card is 10 or less. So those are, those could be big ones tomorrow. There was not an R. Kelly spot. Although, it would not surprise me if Brian didn't try. <laughs> I know as soon as he got, he could get OJ. He got OJ. Yes, the, the mystery, if there's a mystery, if there was only one spot for mystery. It covers both the cards and the cuts. So if we have a redemption that has the word mystery on it, that spot, I think it went for like 152 bucks, you get the card. All right, I don't, I don't think there was anything else. I got some fuzz on me. Which wardrobe card would smell like this? <laughs> no, but it might have DNA in it and you could clone the guy. <laughs> uh. Of course, I wish they'd go back to the cardboard uh, inserts. These things are kind of hard to get top loaded cards out of there. All right. Ah, very nice. Number to just two. Two of two. Henry Winkler. Number to 65, whoever Dale Bazio is. All right, we got a ticket. Ticket stub right away. Fleetwood Mac, I believe Fleetwood Mac was under rock. This was a concert in August of 1994 at the Carefree Theater. I think it was in Canada. WPBB? I don't know. These are not numbered. And on the back end, numbered to just four. Somehow they made Angelica Houston look almost good, as she is truly one of the hideous, most hideous actresses on the planet. Angelica. 
Angelica Planet Houston. John Houston's daughter. Okay, thank you, Wolf Moon. I do know who that I do know who missing persons was. Voices calling. Was it that song? Yeah, it sounds like the South. But what's WP? WP? Well, I mean, just. Oh, all right. I mean, how are you going to get cards like that? All right, from Cuckoo's Nest, number to just seven. Nurse Ratchet, Louise Fletcher. Number to four, Louis Gossett Jr. Not really a huge mark on the pop culture world these days, but. And we got a wardrobe item, and it's Beyonce. Number to 25. Could be a panty relic. <laughs> uh, number to 50. Wings Hauser's kid, Cole Hauser. Cole Hauser. Yeah, I can't stand these paper inserts. And the foam, I could use that in shipping. You know, if I had a, like a, four, a 300 count box, I could put that on the top, keep it nice and snug. You can't use those other things for anything. Oh, good card on the bottom. Good card to me, anyway. <laughs> I'm huge into this stuff, so we'll see. See what everybody thinks. Number to 15, a very sexy Lana Wood. Sister of the dead, the dead wood, Natalie. <laughs> That Bob Wagner threw off the boat. He was sick of her shit. He tossed her overboard. Number to 70, Coochie Coochie. Charo. Oh, we got a cut autograph. I like it better than Katy Perry because she's an actress. Valerie Bertinelli. Mary Daddy Van Halen for very, very many years until he died. Or they got divorced. And then he died. And from The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Norman Reedus. Yeah, she just wouldn't shut up. She wouldn't stop whining. And Christopher Walken was on the boat, and Bobby Wagner had to tell him to keep his fucking trap shut. Or he'd be next. Christopher Walken said, uh, all right, uh, Bob, but you shouldn't have thrown her off the boat. Oh, my Christopher Walken is awful. Used to be pretty good. I forgot how to do it. Yeah, these will be easy to get out of there. There's a redemption! Star Trek Legends Chekhov, Walter Koenig. Ah, oh, congratulations, Mr. Mystery Guy. You no longer need to worry about whether or not your investment might pay off. I'm not sure what these are, but uh, there were 10 cuts on the checklist, and I don't believe it's those. So I heard rumors of. Uh, the Rock. Let's see. All right, we've got a wardrobe card of the very talented and certainly most likely dead Jack Ruby. Oh, he's definitely dead. Number to 25. Uh, he shot, what's his name? Oh, this could probably be pretty good. Number to just three? Eight? What the fuck is that number to? Eight! Shut up now, tell me, do you really want a drug? Me for up the... Oh, oh, oh! Paula Abdul. Did you have the mystery spot there, uh, Grace Dummer? 
Now you, now you can roll it in tomorrow. It, not till t not tomorrow. There's no mystery. There's no mystery cuts in the red, white, and blue. Next next week's case. You're free rolling. <laughs> if it's a good cut, I don't know. Up what? Growing up graphs. That's cool. Lou Ferrigno, the Hulk. Number 10 of 10. Yeah, he shot he shot uh, the guy that shot Kennedy. Lee Harvey Oswald. From the Munsters, numbered six of six. Oh, that's a good number for the Munsters. Butch Patrick. Too bad we can get another six in there somehow, but. Oh, here's a shock. Joe Montana. <laughs> a 75. Uh, yeah, but it's just, uh, it's just, uh, hey, Sean, it's just uh, relic cards. It's not a cut spot. Big card right here, everybody. Number 220. Daisy Ridley from the Star Wars. Everybody loves Daisy Ridley glamour or something. I can't say what the word says. Number five of twenty, Daisy Ridley. Boy, she pushed Joe Montana off the back spot. How about that? Joe Montana. Posty show. She was Ray in the new Star Wars. Warriors come out to play, eh? Michael Beck. Seen here starring opposite Olivia Newton John and Xanadu, most likely. I think this chick is very beautiful. Number to 25, Sophia Milos. No, no Paul Rudd. And we got another relic card numbered again, low 10, number to 10. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, I think this was my boy Chad. Chad, I think you had, uh, yeah, she, I tell you what, man. I'm top of the world, man, top of the world. Jimmy Cagney, man, Jimmy Cagney's not bad. I probably heard a lot more Cagney growing up, a lot more. And we got a red. What's this number do? Just a three. Is this guy, uh, I believe he was from Poison. Am I right? Or was he from Motley Crue? <laughs> Maybe he was from both. I don't know. Vince Neal. Warriors. Come out to play. Who was Luther? Was Luther killed Cyrus? I just like doing things like that. Motley Crue. They're doing that concert, Motley Crue, Poison. Somebody else. Def Leppard. I would go see that. Just saying. Ooh, we got a Tiger Stripe. Tiger Stripe on the bottom. She got whacked out in The Sopranos. Also numbered 6-6, six six, Drea De Mateo. Christopher! Number, was that 10 of 10? No, that was 6-6. Six six. This is 10 of 10. The guy responsible for Charlie Sheen. Marty Sheen. And we got another ticket stub. Marilyn Manson. 1998. At the Tweeter Music, uh, Tweeter Music Series in Lowell, Massachusetts. General admission floor. 
I believe he goes to the rock spot also. Two for the rock spot. Oh, was that in Kansas City? Oh, that's a big card. Number to just four, Tiger Stripe. Meg Ryan. Harry met Sally. Huh, Tiger Stripes. Isn't that, isn't that cool? I've never seen that before. What a creative and innovative idea. <laughs> Maybe there'll be zebra stripes too. <laughs> or snakeskin. Uh, I did not know that was a cancer journey last week. Fun to see at Kauffman Stadium. Boy, they got some heavy they got some heavy metal guys in this shit this year, huh? Certainly more than rappers, it would appear like. Pink Crystal number to seven, D. Snyder. Twisted sister. Mom always said, don't play ball in a house. Cindy Brady. Number to just 20. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, good old Harry Hamlin. Number to 50. Oh, that's a good card. Number to 28. Billy Crystal. I don't recall Billy Crystal being in previous releases of Pop Century. Always good when they're in their first year. That card is number just seven of eight. Billy, Billy Cristal. Ah, Cristal and Norman Reedus and Daisy Ridley. Me this. And Meg Ryan. And Sean, you, Sean, you would have gone to see that concert? I would have gone in two seconds. Oh, we got a relic card. Oh, skinny pop pop, she blows me away. Uh, what are these? Probably one per case, I guess. Joan College, RPA. <laughs> uh, LA Law, he was also in the the, uh, the monster movie there. The Greek mythology movie. I can never think of the title of it. John Cusack number to just eight. Jason and the Argonauts. Something like that. <laughs> ah, it's Willis. Todd Bridges to seven. Oh, big card here. Damn, I wish I had this one. Number to 20. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Clash of the Titans. Thank you, Wolf Moon. From the Walking Dead. Negan. The other one, Kickstart My Heart. That was a fucking unbelievably cool song. is in this probably not an easy one to hit but we probably hit too many big names already <laughs> although I wouldn't I don't know about this guy 
Number to six, looking an awful lot like. Uh, Ray, what's his name? Robert Wool, Ray Wise. Uh, he's doing his Ray Wise impression. It actually might actually be Ray Wise. I don't know. All right, number to six, 65 seems a little high. Stephen Tobolowski. All right, another wardrobe card. This one is unnumbered, and it's boy band wonderkin Justin Timberlake. There's one guy checking prices I saw was selling very well. Superman, Once Upon a Time, and Smallville, Tom Welling. <laughs> what did I tell you, Bev? I think they should have had some of the guys from the guys from the boys. I would have loved, loved to see a Carl Urban autograph. Anthony Starr. I don't think there's any presidents in this. All right, got good old Sean Astin. Number to 15. Yeah, I agree with you, Wolf. I 100% agree with that. But, oh, that's our first duplicate. Number to eight on this one. Same card, pretty much. Butch Patrick. I mean, the kid, the kid pictures are all right, I guess. But the adult ones are kind of weird. All right, now this is a this is a uh, ticket card that there is a spot for. I'm pretty sure. So um, this would go to the John Bon Jovi spot at the TD Bank North Garden. I believe was also in Massachusetts back on 2005. It was ninety-five dollars back then. <clears throat> oh, rest in peace, Jimmy Khan. Number to just ten. Kind of mojo-ish. Yeah, like that's a very young picture of James Khan. That's like the gambler. Godfather days. I would like to, I would like the more current photo of him. But. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh, if he's if he's probably in some upper deck or uh... Mike TV is in this. Are you sure? What's his real name? Entourage. Rex Lee, number two six. Counting down. All autos on this one. Tommy Sizemore. He's been in loads of trouble throughout his career. Number to twenty-five. <laughs> what do I think it is? Oh, I thought this. I thought that was Frankie Avalon. Nope. I'm not real sure who he is. Some kind of actor, maybe. George Shakiris? Oh, Paris Stenman. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Two R's in Paris. George Shakiris. Oh, good card on the last one, too. A lot of, lot of duplicate numbers. Number eight of eight. Woo! Rick. Rick Flair. Oh, that's cool. But I want them from the boys, though. I don't give a shit about those other ones. 